Welcome to Fest Daily Podcast. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, we are blessed enough to have another week of Harvey's Weekly Football Report. And I just want everybody to know Saturday, Seth Amberge for Knott County Soil and Water Conservation will be having a free Zoom concert headlined by Tony Sloan, and that starts at 7 p.m. Uh, Saturday. So text me on Facebook, text the Seth Daily Podcast Facebook page, or text Seth Amberge for Knott County Soil Conservation and uh, the Facebook page for that. And uh, I'll send you the link for the Zoom, and you can come out and enjoy some good music. And uh, I would definitely appreciate everybody's vote November 8th. Appreciate everybody's vote here on early voting this week. But uh, here we are with Harvey's weekly football report. How are you doing tonight, Harvey? Uh, doing okay. Doing okay, man. Will you yeah. be at the concert or dancing to Tony singing? <laughs> uh, uh, we'll try. Uh, Saturday night, I'll try to see what I'm doing. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. T- Tony can flat out play, man. He's a good singer. Yeah, so, uh, we're, 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 we're talent. Yeah, and I definitely appreciate everybody's vote for sure. So what what was your uh, biggest takeaway from this week in college football, man? What was your biggest surprise? <sighs> I don't know. I uh, see Louisville beat Wake Forest. <laughs> Not well. Uh, Kansas State beat Oklahoma Forty uh, bad. Probably was a big surprise. Uh, they, I mean, they didn't even score. Yeah, that's crazy. That man. that maybe that has to be. All right, you ready to get to the MAC action on Tuesday? <laughs> oh yeah. We got Ball State four and four traveling to Kent State three and five seven p.m. on ESPNU Tuesday night. Kent State is four and a half point favorites. I'm gonna go with Ball State. Who you going with, Harvey? I'll go with Kent State. All right. We got five and three. This is also Tuesday as well. Got some MAC action. Buffalo's five and three playing Ohio. Ohio five and three seven thirty p.m. Tuesday night on ESPN two. Buffalo's three point favorites. What a game that's going to be. I'm going to pick Buffalo, though. Who are you going with her? I'll pick Buffalo. All right. We got some more MAC action Wednesday night, November the 2nd. Central Michigan, two and six, travels Northern Illinois, two and six. That'll be at 7 p.m. on ESPN. Northern Illinois is four point favorites. I'm going to go with Northern Illinois. Who are you going with? I want one on Northern Illinois. That's, both, that's like I said, that's a pick up game. Yeah, it is. All right, then we got another MAC game Wednesday night. Western Michigan three and five traveling to Bowling Green four and four seven p.m. on ESPN two. Bowling Green is three and a half point favorite. So I'm gonna go with Bowling Green. Who you going with, Harvey? I go with Bowling Green too. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, man, I'm very impressed with the MAC. I've always had been. Well, I've seen some of these records like Northern Illinois and Central Michigan two and six, two and six. That's that's not that's not what they used to be. They they they're 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 too down. All right, Except from last year. Yeah, definitely, man. Northern Illinois put up a good game against Kentucky, though. Oh yeah, that, they did. They really did. Yeah. All right, Friday night we got Duke five and three traveling to Boston College two and six seven p.m. on ESPN two. For some reason Duke is just nine and a half point favorite. So I'm gonna go with Duke. Who you going with her? I'm going to go with Duke. Uh, we know that Boston College lost to Connecticut last week. That was some, probably maybe a surprise, too. But never know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, Connecticut's got a better coach now. I think it's, uh, that's gonna, they're in the right – that quarter will move in the right direction. Absolutely, man. Also, we got uh, number twenty-four. This is also Friday night. Oregon State six and two, traveling to Washington six and two. This will be a heck of a game, man. Ten thirty p.m. on ESPN two. Washington's four and a half point favorites. This is what you call a pick 'em game. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with uh, Washington. Who you going with, Harvey? I'm gonna go with Washington too. I, 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 that was tough choice. Yeah, we got some tough games on here, man. That'll be a good one. Yeah. All right, Saturday at 12 p.m. We got Kentucky five and three traveling to four and four Missouri coming off the win against South Carolina 12 p.m. on SEC Network. 
Kentucky's two point favorites. I, I'm going with Kentucky. Who you going, Darby? I'm going to go with Kentucky too, but uh, don't be surprised if they get beat. If they play like they have the last two times, then that will they play like they did Saturday. That Missouri will beat them. Yeah. All right. We got Florida four and four traveling to Texas A&M three and five 12 p.m. on ESPN. Texas A&M's three and a half point favorites. I'm going to go with Texas A&M. Who are you going with, Harvey? I'm going to go with Florida. Uh, Texas A&M, I, I don't know what's going on three and five. I would never thought they'd be three and five at this point. So, you know, I'll I pick Florida. That could, that's it. Like the SEC stuff, that could be, that could be anybody's game. Yep. Definitely, man. And uh, speaking of tough games, we got number ten, number two Tennessee, eight and zero, traveling number one Georgia, eight and zero, three thirty p.m. on CBS. Georgia's eight and a half point favorites for some reason. Oh man, I'm gonna go with Tennessee. Who you going with, Harvey? Hey, Harvey, you still there? Well, you're back, Harvey. Uh, technical yeah. difficulties, and uh, okay, we got number two Tennessee eight and zero traveling number one Georgia eight and zero, three thirty p.m. on CBS. Georgia's eight and a half point favorites. I'm gonna go with Tennessee. Who you going with, Harvey? <laughs> that 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 is the one I'm having the tough choice, but I. I I'm gonna pick Georgia, but I, I I ain't gonna. Be, it won't shock me if Tennessee beats them. Tennessee is playing better than Georgia right now. Yeah, that 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 that's the game to watch. Could be the game of the year. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I'll pick Georgia at home. Uh, yeah, they are, but I'm gonna go with Tennessee either way. This will that's be a another, good pick. Yeah, this will be another tough game, man. Number six, Alabama, 7-1, traveling number 15, LSU, 6-2, 7 p.m. on ESPN. Alabama's 13-point favorite. So, I'm going to go with Alabama. Who are you going with, Arthur? I'm going to go with Alabama, too. But I'll tell you what, LSU has caught far. They're, I mean, they're, they've caught far. They're really playing right now. So, it, Alabama better watch. Yeah, this will be a pretty good one, too. Well, it's according to which BYU team shows up. We got four and five BYU traveling to Boise State, six and two, seven p.m. on FS2. Boise State's eight point fair. So I'm going with Boise State. If you going with Harvey, I will too. Uh, BYU, I think they can get a swap or something. They're still good though. I'll pick Boise State. All right. Then we got number five Clemson, eight and zero, traveling Notre Dame, five and three, seven thirty p.m. on NBC. Clemson's four point favorite, so I'm gonna go with Clemson. Who are you going with Harvey? I'm gonna go with Clemson too. All right, we got Auburn three and five traveling to Mississippi State five and three, seven thirty p.m. on ESPN two. Mississippi State is ten and a half point favorite, so I'm gonna go with Mississippi State. Who are you going with Harvey? I'm gonna go with Mississippi State, and I, it's like I told, I might have told you last night, Auburn. This may be the – when you asked one one on my buddies last night, this may be the worst Auburn team I've seen in a long time. That was me. <laughs> well, one of my buddies, me and him, talked about you. Yeah. I've never seen Auburn this week. Yeah. Would you just thought they'd been three and five right now? No, nah, but the SEC's no. tough. Yeah, they are tough. All right. We got number 20, Wake Forest, six and two, traveling to NC State, six and two. 8 p.m. on the ACC Network. Wake Forest is three and a half point favorites. Uh, I'm gonna go with NC State. Who you going with? Her? That's a tough. I question. am too. I don't know what's. Uh, I mean, I I saw a lovable beat Wake Forest uh, yesterday, and and I don't think Wake Global was a man that matchup with Wake Forest. So NC State, I think, is just better than Louisville. So I'm gonna pick NC State. Okay, we got number 22 Syracuse six and two. Traveling to Pittsburgh, four and four, three thirty p.m. on the ACC Network. Pittsburgh is three and a half point favorite. So I'm going to go Syracuse. Who you going for? I want to go with Syracuse too, but Syracuse lost the last few games. They started out hot, uh, they and they lost their last few games. I wonder if the momentum is shifted away from them. So I, I'll still pick them though. All right, now we're off to the NFL. 
Yeah. Week nine Thursday night game is the Eagles seven and zero traveling to the Texans one five and one eight fifteen p.m. on Prime Video. Philadelphia is thirteen point favorite. So clearly, I'm gonna go Philadelphia. Who you going with, Harvey? Maybe the best team in the NFL right now. Definitely picking them. Yeah. How well did we do in college in the NFL? By the way, I know we. Still uh, we were we didn't do too hot. We lost a close game. Uh, we went nine and six in uh, college, and uh, I'm waiting. Uh, we're waiting for the Bengals and the Bray, uh, Browns game. I'm three and three, and you three and three. <laughs> so we're waiting to see if we go four and three. You got the. We both got the Bengals, so we could finish three and four, four and three. We're five hundred right now. That's fine. Oh yeah, that's pretty yeah. All right. Then we got the four and three Chargers traveling to the Falcons four and four Sunday one p.m. on Fox Chargers three point favorites. I'm go with the Chargers. Who are you going with? Maybe they're not. I'm gonna pick the Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a decent game, actually. I All think. right, we got the Bills six and one traveling to the Jets five and three one p.m. on CBS. I'm gonna go with the Bills. Who are you going with, Harvey? I'm definitely gonna go with Bills. All right. Then we got the six and one Minnesota Vikings traveling to Washington to play the four and four Commanders. One p.m. on Fox. Minnesota is three point favorites. So I'm going with Minnesota. He going with third. Uh, one of the Vikings are a good team. Yeah. They look like they're going to win that NFC. Uh, yeah, yeah, NFC no, uh, North. They look like they're going to win it. All right, we got a uh, rematch from the divisional round from last year. We got the Rams three and four. Traveling Tampa Bay three and five, four twenty five PM on CBS. Tampa Bay's two and a half point favorites. I seen something where a bunch of Rams players are injured. I'm gonna go with Tampa Bay. He go. I'll go with Tampa Bay. I hope they start getting better. Yeah. All right. We got the Titans Sunday night football five and two. Traveling Kansas City five and two, eight twenty PM on NBC. Kansas City's eleven point favorites. I'm gonna go with the Chiefs. Who you going with? I won't go with the Chiefs, too. Yep. All right. Then we got the Baltimore Ravens, 5-3. and three, Traveling to the Saints, 3-5. and five, Monday Night Football, 8-15 p.m. on ESPN. Baltimore's three-point favorites. I'm going to go with Baltimore. Who are you going with, Arden? I'm going to go with the Ravens, too. That man, Lamar sure. Jackson, is a bad man. Oh, yeah. He's pretty good. Uh, I think it might come down between them and uh... – the Bengals, uh, who wins that division? You know, I mean, where they're playing, that. it's still up for grabs, but it looks like it's going to be a two team race there. You yeah. know, it all depends on what the Browns and the Bengals does tomorrow night, you know, can yeah. make a difference. Yeah. Well, appreciate you doing this, Harvey. Appreciate everybody tuning in. This has been another episode of Harvey's Weekly Football Report. Y'all have a good night and uh, God bless. God bless.